Two artists coming together for one international cause, chosen to be Jacksonville's first cultural ambassadors for the city's first exchange program with the city of Bristol, England. First Coast News' Ann Schindler caught up with the hip-hop performer and visual artist before their journey to see what they plan to take and bring back. I brought hip hop back to the street. Bump beats on the block that are bang your head like Saint Keith. Hang feet on my If you've ever been to downtown Jacksonville's Art Walk, you know Mal Jones. Hell half no very like a 12 man Jerry Oh well. His street corner rap sessions are busy and freeform in the style of an old school hip hop cipher. They rhyme over a beat, someone else jumps in. It's sharing, it's uh, communication. For the past five years, Mal Jones has staged The Lyricist Live, a kind of community-based performance art on the streets of Jacksonville. Over 70 shows outside, downtown, not one fight, not one argument. When I see you on the streets and you're freestyling, you literally create a whole album every month right there on the streets. You know? So I have the ultimate respect for you. Over Street Ducasse, no whose work has shown locally at the Kummer Museum, says his art is heavily influenced by music. I am such a huge fan of hip hop. They're married, is two married art forms. Mal Jones says his own music is rooted in art. I started as an artist. My father taught me how to draw. I used to draw, I used to sketch, I used to make comic books. That artistic cross-connection is at the root of his planned performance in Bristol, England, for which he channels Shakespeare. If you're listening to the words I speak and think to yourself, that's Greek to me, well, that would be a phrase from William's page from one of his many tragic plays. My story is so similar to Shakespeare's story. Right. He was a poor guy who took words and create, and, and, and that's what I do with, with, with hip hop. Ducasse works and sometimes sleeps in his Cork Art District studio space. If I have a project, I might not go home for three days. I might sleep on a couch. So this is what I do. He spent several sleepless days before his England trip packing his artwork. I feel it's one of my strongest pieces. He's excited to show his artwork in England, the first trip abroad for both men. He's even more excited, he says, to represent for his hometown. I want to represent this city because I was chosen. I feel deeply proud and honored the love and respect that I've received from this city. I have absolutely no doubt in my mind that it's going to be awesome. The fact that these two artists and friends are now the city's first two cultural ambassadors ever, both agree, makes perfect sense. You love art, I love hip hop. Perfect connection. And we're gonna laugh. Yes, we're gonna laugh. Because that's the inspiration, you know? With photojournalist Jeff Renfro, Ann Schindler, First Coast News. And Ann heard from the artists today. They said their work has been well received and already resulted in some collaborative projects with artists there.